I am teaching all of my friends. Summer school. It's a thing. But in the Osage School District, it's more like summer camp. Summer school is an opportunity for kids to continue to show growth. Um, a lot of kids will regress during the summer, no matter who they are, and this is an opportunity for kids to continue to grow academically, and they have an opportunity to, to socialize with their friends and teachers. Okay, so we are going to round 687 to the nearest 100. My name is Jennifer Ham. During the school year, I teach fourth grade reading and math. I throw in some computer science while I'm teaching math as well. In the summer, I teach third and fourth grade combined reading and math. Teacher Jennifer Ham enjoys her time in the classroom, but summer school isn't identical to your traditional days. Summer school is two two-week sessions for a total of four weeks. We start, uh, the kids start at eight with breakfast, and then we start at 8.30 with reading. We go until 9.50 and then they get a little recess and then we finish the day with math and then they have lunch at 11.30. And then after lunch, they go home. You don't have to get a lesson to get a lunch or even breakfast. It can be anyone. They don't have to be enrolled in the summer camp at the school. Um, we also serve the daycare kids. For breakfast, we have like yogurt cups, um, the pancakes, <laughs> uh, waffles, uh, cereal, muffins, and then for lunch we do various things from pizza, hamburgers, chicken patties, turkey subs, things like that. The food keeps the students fueled in a setting that can be a welcome break during the summer days. The goals of summer school are to keep kids engaged and learning and happy and wanting to come back time after time after time. My favorite part is easy, the kids coming in and seeing them smile, and that's probably my biggest thing is I want them to have fun this summer. I don't want them to think, oh, I hate coming to school. And I actually, the first day, I had one that went, oh, I'm not sure I want to come. I said, oh, I think everybody's feeling that way, that they're not sure they want to come. They want to be home playing on their games. And they all looked at me, and I said, which ones would rather be home right now playing a game? And none of them raised their hands. And I'm like, that's a win. If they're enjoying it and learning, that's a huge win for me, and that's what I love about. There's some pre-testing that happens to help the students find their focus on their lessons. Teachers know what to focus on with the kids, and it's precious one-on-one -on -one time that isn't always available during the traditional school year. Obviously, we have to focus on the academics, the math, and the reading, but with kindergarten, it's obviously much easier for me. We integrate Play-Doh. So when we're working on a certain letter, if we're working on B and D and the reversals, we're using our Play-Doh, and we're creating the B, we're creating the D. Um, we do some ad, uh, iPad time where they're working with that. Any little thing to make it not seem like work, take away the worksheets, they buy in and they're enjoying it and loving that. Today they were really excited because I actually bought in a science Lego kit that I just purchased. And so of course they all are like, oh, Legos, we get to play with Legos. And it's actually, it's a science STEM Lego kit. And so they're so motivated and excited. I told them next week, Monday, we get to do our science Lego kit. There are numerous perks to this non-traditional summer camp experience. These activity-packed half days have been a draw for students and teachers over the past five years. As far as technology goes, we have the one-to-one -one iPads that students use, and we have a new program for, for math as well this year with our summer school program. And it's just, we use, our teachers are so good at embedding the technology in the instruction it really just makes the instruction fun all the way through. It's an effort that doesn't go unnoticed, and time spent as a summertime Green Devil can bring a lot of positives when the official school bell rings once again. On behalf of Osage and those Green Devils, I'm Chris Nelson.